have that on my camera too. Yeah. It's, but this is better, right? What do you mean better? Well, you have the iPhone 7, right? The big feature on that is the low light setting. I thought you had an iPhone 7 too. No, it's a 6. Oh. No, I. Uh, the, no, the big feature on iPhone 7 Plus, I don't have the 7 Plus. The 7 Plus has two lens lenses. Oh, okay. I don't have that. Well, hi. I have to pick a topic today, so let me think, okay? This is like sad sound. <laughs> well, what does a musician do to escape? Everybody else uses music to escape, but then what does a musician do? And I'm driving here down I-75, coming back from a little dinner party, and my son's here driving. I'm not driving, so Chris is driving. Thanks. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. And um, so people love music, I think at least partially because it's an escape. You escape from the material world into this world of sound that brings emotion and feelings, nostalgia sometimes, and all these things. And musicians form this service, which is a great service to humanity. When you think about, say, a, a teenager who's going through a very difficult time of his life and he, he can't relate to his parents at some point or he's having trouble with his friends or whatever and he has this 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 realm of music he can go into that it's all his own it's very personal it speaks to him and and, and that's a great thing for people to have to to escape but then if you're a musician where does a musician escape to i don't know I think tonight I finally had a relaxed, relaxing night off going to see some friends and we had a little cookout and, um, and, and a glass of wine and uh, it, was, it was out in the country, it was really nice people and we just, we, we sat around and talked, uh, uh, freewheeling conversation it was, and it was just very relaxing, very fun. Um, musicians though have to sort of get to another another level beyond that I think like I remember um, hearing one performer say you know when I have time off I just really want to go to a monastery and he was kind of kidding but in a way you that, that's what when I'm thinking about why the creative people sometimes get into meditation and yoga so this is kind of where I'm heading, I guess, to the, to the idea of meditation, creativity, meditation. You, you see the creative types who practice these disciplines. For instance, Steve Jobs, he was a big fan of yoga, Raja Yoga. And when he passed away, the only book that was on his iPad was Autobiography of a Yogi What's by Paramahansa Yogi. Yogananda. What is Raja Yoga? My person sitting here next to me wants to know. <laughs> Raja Yoga. You know what Raja Yoga is. You're just asking me to, to be, be part, sort of part of the show I here. I don't remember, actually. For oh. real. Um, Raja Yoga is royal yoga, literally. Raja means royal. And... Um, so Raja Yoga is in a way the combination of all the different paths of yoga. You have Bhakti Yoga, which is the yoga of devotion. You have Karma Yoga, which is the yoga of action. You have Laya Yoga, which is the yoga of repeating positive statements. And what is the other one, the major one? Well, you have Hatha Yoga, which is the physical yoga, which is the most prevalent yoga. That Raja Yoga is also called, sometimes called the yoga of the mind. Raja Yoga, to say a scholar, would go to the writings of Patanjali, who lived in India about uh, roughly 1,500 to 2,500 years ago and wrote the major work on Raja Yoga, which explains how you need to calm the mind uh, if I can remember the verse, it was written in Sanskrit, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha, which means you, you 
calm all the modifications of the mind stuff. Mind stuff. Scientifically. Scientifically, by a scientific discipline, mental and and physical, you calm the mind to the point where there are no mental fluctuations. So. I don't know how I got into this after talking I'm about sorry, musicians shut relaxing, shut but up. musicians do need to relax and get away and have a little, little free time, free wheeling time, and uh, and meditation is just a natural thing to do for a, a creative person, a writer or a musician, a composer, um, and, it, and it does help you with your creative ideas. 